In this episode, we have one main goal, and that is to make a automated wheat farm. The reason we need this wheat farm is because we need leather. We need a lot of leather because I am greedy and I want to make a storage system with item frames. Item frames cost leather, therefore we need a lot of leather. We also need leather for the enchantment table so that I can actually enchant my gear to max levels as much as I possibly can before we go fight the ender dragon. Alrighty, as stated, we need to get an organization going because I'm going to be real, this, th this isn't cutting it. Our, our chests are a mess, and it's driving me nuts. The other thing is, too, we have to try to finish this out, because I need to get enchantments on my gear, and preferably a bow, so I can get infinity, make my life so much easier when fighting the dragon. Now again, as per normal, I do like to give an update in the, middle, in the beginning of every video, so for those of you that know my personal life, just know all the medical issues have been taken care of, and everything is fine. So we are all good to go. I'm able to make videos again every Friday. Sorry for the kind of lapse in the videos the past couple weeks. I have had a uh, medical emergency that we were taking care of over here. But just know everything is good and we will be back on schedule for videos every Friday again. So yeah, that's all. So first things first, I'm going to grab some dark oak because I would like some dark oak logs for what I kind of have planned to do here. So I would like to do something very simple here. It's not going to be anything too crazy, but what I'm thinking is we can have two rows of chests and we can kind of put item frames above each one. So the problem with this is we won't be able to put a full block above this because then we actually can't physically open the chest. So what we'll do is we'll use slabs and I will just bring the slabs fully across. Like so. And now we should be able to open every single one of these chests. Now the other thing we need is we need a bunch of chests so that we can do this the right way. Okay, that'll be our top row. And then I'm thinking what we could do is... Kind of put slabs above this. Just so we can actually have an item frame hanging down. And now I just need to get some item frames, so I need 22 item frames. How do I make item frames? Okay, for that we are going to need 22 leather, which may be a slight problem. Because I don't think we really have our cow farm going yet. And I don't really have enough wheat to really keep breeding the cows over and over again, which has kind of been the problem recently. So we might have to add a new goal into this. And that is, um, yeah, we, we need a farm. And I, I need to get a farm. Okay, first things first, we need to find a spot that we actually want to build this wheat farm that, I'll be honest, I'm really not sure where I want to build it. We cannot build it anywhere near or even in this because otherwise the iron golem will actually spawn in there. So we got to be careful where we build it close to this. So I think we're going to build it over here. But what I think we're going to do is we're going to have the entrance of it over here on this side. So we're going to have to dig out maybe a bit of this over here. So uh, yeah, first things first, I need to get, I, 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 need a, I need a lawnmower. All right, for the most part, that should be clear. Now, the reason I chose this spot over the others is because it's less dirt that I will have to place down. Now, ideally, what we need is we need a 8x7 kind of stacking dirt pillar looking thingy thing thing. That literally made no sense. All right, you know what? It will when I do it. All right, so I guess I think we'll start it right here. So we'll do one, two, three, four. Four, and then okay. now we need everything here we need this to go to seven so one two three four five six seven so I believe we want this here if I got this correctly this should be right I'm hoping and then we need to do the same thing up here. So one, two. All right. And I have that, this dirt here just as kind of like a little, 
uh, landmark for myself, but that's how tall I want to be. Now, I do know that this isn't going to be like a fully automated wheat farm. For that, I have a plan in the future, but I need a lot more resources to do that. And uh, I want to make a really big wheat farm. Or not even a wheat farm, just a farm that we can get every type of crop possible. And the sun is going down, so... No. With that being said, we need a few things here. We need to dig this out. And we need to dig this out as well. Over here, we need a chest. And then right in here, we are going to need eight hoppers, which just conveniently... Hey, we have an iron farm that we made last episode. Wow, crazy. Somebody help me. All right, that'll be eight hoppers. Now what we can do here is we can place the hoppers like so. Now we still have a lot of smooth stone left over from when we did the blaze farm. So I think I'm going to make this out of smooth stone just because personally I like the look of it. We'll place glass right above that so that we can actually open the chest. And then we'll fill this up with smooth stone. Now what I will need to do is I will need to get all the smooth stone up here. Okay, that should be good for the farm itself. Um, right, that should be good for the farm itself. I can count, I promise. Now, I will be honest, you guys have probably seen a farm like this before. It is a very traditional farm in my sense. This, this type of farm has been around for a very long time. The only thing I always forget how to do is to kind of how to wire this up with redstone because I'm very bad with redstone and I need to not be. So, I'm gonna be honest, I can't exactly remember where to place my water, so we're just gonna do a really quick test. So what I want to happen is, I want these to be filled up as well. So, if I was to place water here, that should fill up almost all of that. I think we need one more bucket. That should fill that up. Mm, I think that's too much. I might have to shorten this wall by one. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, now if we do this right, we should be able to place a bucket there, there, there and it should fill up everything now well I mean it still does the same thing hmm. okay I have a different fix for how we're going to do this I will do it the original way I was intending and we will just use uh, slabs and that should solve the issues of what I was having. So I need to remove this. Now what we will need to do is we will need to place a, two dispensers here and two dispensers there. This will be the spot for the dispensers that will empty out the water and I think we'll be good there. I think everything else will be fine. Now I need my dispensers. I need four. Um, as soon as I figure out how to craft dispensers. You tell I haven't played Minecraft in a while. So lucky for me, I actually had a few bows, probably from skeleton drops. So I can use that to get my dispensers, but I will need to craft two bows. Alrighty, that is our four dispensers. 
we place them down like so and then inside each dispenser we put a water bucket cool now comes the hard part this is where I need to figure out how to get redstone from one side to the other so yeah I don't remember how to do this so I also realized I forgot something I need to get water on the side here so that we can actually have tilled soil and uh, yeah I never set that up so I gotta make a water stream to actually work with that if I do this this should go almost down okay and then if we get rid of that this should go all the way through cool so now we can fill this up right I think I need to make it like this instead this way we can place that there Like, it doesn't really matter how it goes down as long as it goes down the right way. So that should keep all the water there. And I still hear it running, so we'll just hope that that kind of worked. Cool. And that should allow it for us to till the land, because if I remember correctly, we need... The tilled land goes four blocks out. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four from each side. So we should be good, hopefully. If not, then well, we'll find out the hard way. The one other thing I forgot to do over here is I forgot to put down. Okay, that is every mob under the sun. All right. Guys, I don't know if anyone's told you this, but this is a wheat farm, not a uh, mob grinder. They are two different things. I don't know how to tell you this. Um, but yeah, it, 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 you're, you're in the wrong farm. Wrong farm. We'll build you another day. Now we gotta make sure we can get that activated. Which, if I remember correctly, it involves, like, turning on and off, like, a redstone torch or something like that. What's with all the gold armored mobs? Okay, what we need to do is... Probably something like this, I believe. Make sure I'm not trapped in here and I can get out. And then it should, it should be like this and then I believe we just take the redstone all the way through and then we can do like that and I can put a button like right here maybe so as for here I believe we need a torch there and a torch there that should have sent all the water out okay so that that worked at least so now we need We're probably going to need a repeater. I'm not exactly sure where. But okay, that works there. So that means we'll probably we'll need a repeater probably right here. Maybe we'll put one right here. So a repeater right there. And we'll probably need a repeater right there. Now we shouldn't have to set any ticks for these. We should be good. Yeah, that sends a signal over there. And that should send the signal to the button. Now, if I push the button, does it do, do, do we work? I wonder if the signal just isn't reaching. 
Do I have the repeaters backwards? I might actually have the repeaters backwards. Hold on a second. That might be why. Alright, let's try that. Yeah, there we go. I had the repeaters backwards. Now, if I push the button again, it should turn off the water, right? Yeah, there we go. It just took a second for it to go. Okay, alright, I'm good. I'm good. See? See, I'm, I'm Redstone Pro. Alright, so now we gotta cover everything in. Now, I am a fan of not really liking redstone to really show. Um, however, we don't really have a choice with it on this side. However, we can block it on this side. So what I think we'll do is we'll do something like this. Yeah, that should work. And then what we'll do is we'll go make slabs so that no items can get out. Also, I'm down to my last pork chop. I really need food. All right, now if we make the slabs correct, does the redstone still work right? Okay, that's how we'll make that look. Plus, I don't really want mobs to be able to spawn on top of this. Okay, and then in here we can do like that. And then what I'm thinking is maybe we'll put like glass here or something or like maybe we could just do maybe we could just do that to hide the redstone and then we'll just farm out all of this stuff. Oh no, I wanted to make it look pretty and I broke the redstone. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, I need to go fix that now. <laughs> okay, I fixed it. <laughs> okay, back to what we were originally going to do before I screwed everything up. We need to till all of this land, which I do not have a hoe at the moment. Why do I have a repeater? Wait, this actually works without a second repeater? Huh. Well, I mean, it works. I ain't gonna complain. I'll keep the repeater for another time. Hey, look at that. Anyway, back to what we were doing. We need to get the slabs all the way across. One, because I don't want mobs to spawn. Two, I just don't want to deal with it. Although, they can spawn on this, which might be able to work with. Can at least add some lighting to this stuff, which I'm okay with. And we can get in and parkour our way up here if we have to, which is not a big deal. So, that should allow us to not lose any of the items. You are in the wrong farm, sir. Wrong farm. That should allow us to not lose any of the items at the same time as we should be able to get in and out of there pretty easily. And we got our seeds and we got our hoe. So now we should be able to till all the land in there. Now this definitely isn't going to be a fast process for getting wheat, but if we chill around here for long enough, we should be able to get at least enough wheat to do exactly what we want to do. In the meantime, while this is growing, because I do have a plan for these cows. Uh, I'm gonna go find some pigs and cows out in the wild so that we can get uh, actual food because uh, I don't have food and I have three hunger left. So now that I basically destroyed the entire population of pigs around my area, it made me realize that maybe I should make instead of just a farm that has like, you know, cows or pigs or something in a fence, maybe I should try to make something a little bit more automated and I believe there is a way to do that without actually building a entity crammer, so I don't need to actually do the entity crammer method. I believe I can use chains and such. I, it, it's been a long time since I remember this, but if I remember correctly, and this might take a little bit, but if I remember correctly, 
Baby cows can't stand on the iron chains, so they'll kind of just fall right through, but the adult cows will be able to stand on iron chains. So maybe instead of making a entity crammer, we can build a, a machine where the baby cows will kind of just fall through the iron chain, and then we can do like a dropper into lava or something like that. I was just looking around my chest, organizing them a little bit, and I realized I've had wheat this whole time. And I could have been breeding my cows through this whole method. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Alrighty, so while we're letting our wheat grow, and, uh, we're breeding our cows, what I am going to do is I'm going to run around and look for stray cows and try to get their leather in the meantime while we're breeding our cows here. In total, I think I need about 45 more leather to finish the enchantment table, in which case then we can start enchanting our gear, which is good. <gasps> so... On my excursions looking for stray cows, I found this! A pink sheep! Uh... Is this rare? I... I will bring this sheep all the way home. Can anyone tell me in the comments below if this is rare? I, I feel like I've seen this only a few times. Alright, we have a sheep in our house now. So, little bit of a side note to that, by the way. The reason why I have not named the horse yet, by the way, is simply for the fact that I have not gotten another name tag. I have been trying to fish one up and everything, but I just simply have not gotten another name tag. But once I do, we already have a name picked out for the horse, and uh, it was this comment here. So the horse will be named Cheetah. Uh, but in the meantime, we could do another name. Why are you standing up there? You know what? Never mind. So, we do have a name for the horse. Let's get a name for this sheep. So, what I want everybody to do is leave in the comments below what you think this sheep should be named. And the comment that gets the most likes, I will name the sheep that. Alright, we got our 45 leather. Uh, I also have a bunch of raw beef now, so we should be good in the food department for a good while. Alright, now we hope we don't mess this up when we do it, and if I remember correctly, it should be like this. And then here and here, right? And this should get us level 30. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we have an enchantment table that goes up to level 30 now. Nice, 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 nice. Start enchanting these. Blast protection. All right, let's see. Blast protection, I'm breaking three. You know, okay, not bad. Depth strider, protection two. I think I want to go for the protection two, honestly, over depth strider. Feather falling three. Okay, not bad. Uh, I'm breaking three. Projectile protection three. I think we'll go for the unbreaking. Oh, it only gives unbreaking. Okay. So now we need to get mending on them, and then we can start hunting for better enchantments. You, sir. You need to give me four mending books. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, now we need to put mending on all of this. Blast Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, and Mending. Good to see it. Good to see it. It says Unbreaking 3 and Mending. This one has Prot 2, Feather Falling 3, and Mending. Nice. So we have gear that will repair itself. That is at least one step done. Now we just need to really get some good enchantments on this. Now that we are fully enchanted, I will wait for this wheat to grow out because we got the entire thing filled out and we will see how well it works. Then we will move, be able to move on from there. All 
right now that's all done let's see if this works what should happen here is the water should come down from up there as predicted it should all come down in here go right into these hoppers and right into that chest over there let's see Turn off the water. And I just want to run around the edge just to make sure I haven't lost anything. And it looks like the slabs did their job. And uh, yeah. So now if we look in here, we should have a bunch of things going in there. We do, we do, we do, we do. Now I did have some wheat on me and I accidentally threw it in here. So I'll take this out as just saying like this was on me because I don't remember exactly how much I had on me, but roughly this is how much we got just for doing this. So do this a few times and we got a bunch of wheat, which means we are never gonna be straight on food again this is going to be great i can now eat and now make cows and with all that i hope you guys did enjoy the episode i know this episode was more of just like a prep episode but regardless we are all prepped to go probably kill the ender dragon next episode so that will definitely be next episode either that or we'll be going to get netherite either or one of those two things is happening because i would like to get an elytra as quick as possible but with all that being said don't forget to like subscribe and then we'll see everyone later